Now, what's it, just on that point, though, what, what's the defining feature? How the, would that one sect be identified? The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, ma, in, in two narrations, ma ana alayhi wa ashabi, whatever I am on it, yeah. and my uh, disciple, or my, my uh, sahaba, companions, or, or uh, qala, or he said, he al jama'atu. And if we take the jama'ah, the, jama the word jama'ah, what is, you know, we, we perform five daily prayers every day. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a jama'ah prayer, a congregational prayer, which is jama'ah, and an individual prayer? Mm -hmm. It's led by one imam. Mm -hmm. And now we challenge the whole Muslim ummah, show us one community that is led all over the world with, the world, with by one single by imam. single imam. We stand up to his mm -hmm. we, we, Instruction, by his instruction, we sit, we, we sleep, we, we yep. perform with whatever he says. Okay. And that's, uh, uh, the, so that's, well, the, that's the evidence. I, I, I think one of the things which I'm sure we all face, we often get this question asked, why the Amdiya, why are the Amdiya community the chosen one? Is it because you just choose I mean, to I, I do? But if, there's, if a, they, if they chose, there's a perspective here. They, they, they would say that we are the, 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 the they happen to agree. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the Islamic League, ha, they've agreed that the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jama'ah is out of the pale of Islam. Allah made it so happen. Those Muslims around the world have not managed to agree on one single thing collectively, apart from calling the Ahmadi Muslim Jama'a. Even, even the people who abuse the Sahaba of the Holy Prophet they're accepted to be Muslims. They, 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 they leave, uh, you know, even in, in the Azan, some of our Shia brothers, they, they totally abandon the name of the Holy Prophet وسلم, They put Ali instead. Mm -hmm. They're still allowed to be called Muslims, but no, Ahmadis, they're not allowed to be called Muslim, and they unified. And subhanAllah, Allah allowed them to unify on one thing. <laughs> and that will, 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 will kind More of... ironic, is that. And how did, he, yeah. did it let it happen to such a kafir movement mm. that yeah. they haven't managed to do it uh, for, for anything else in this world? And that's... Uh, the question is whether... Uh, and, and it's unified. The whole, all the uh, Muslim world and Muslim ulama agree that the victory and the unification, uh, unification of, of the Muslim ummah would be at the hand of the Mahdi. Now the question is, this is what Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan mm -hmm. claims. He's the Mahdi. The question is, if he's a Mahdi or not the Mahdi, it's for the people to go and search and, and find out whether find that's out the, the case. Just picking up on this, as a sub, if I may come to you, 1973, we, the, the, things, the issues which arose in Pakistan against the Amdiya Muslim community, 74, yes. this yes. universal declaration, in yes. some case, you know, someone say the self-appointed mm -hmm. uh, advocates of the Muslim community, whoever they were, mm -hmm. claim, and we've heard an allegation time and time again, we all came together we sat down and we all decided the Amdiya Muslim community is outside the pale of Islam. Yeah. Um, one of the historical perspectives surely is that all the other Muslim, the Ummah, would unite against the truthful one. Yes. I mean, that's a perspective which is from the time of the Holy Prophet Wasallam. If, if it were the case where in 1974, the body that sat to make this judgment that they are in the fold or outside of the fold of Islam, yeah. Were the Ambiya, yeah. the prophets, or the Aulia, the saints, or at least the, the Siddiqeen, the truthful ones, then you would rest that, okay, at least a, a spiritual body has made this edict. Of course. But they themselves in the history okay. of yes, that assembly of in Pakistan have shown these were politicians. They were assemblymen. So they were they're politically inspired. They were, they were, there was a political mm -hmm. element to all of this. Mm -hmm. It has come out in the white papers that were produced during the proceedings of that time when the then caliph of this jamaat, the, f the third caliph, stood in front of the, the Pakistan assembly and gave answers to all these issues as to who is a Muslim, define a Muslim. Before you can define one is or is not, define the very word Muslim. It was interesting how they suppressed See? those papers. Yeah, all the papers right? have been suppressed yeah. to date because his answers proved to them yourselves are not united on the answers that are so basic to Islam. How can you judge someone to be within something when you have failed to create a criteria, a platform to make that judgment? And secondly, you yourselves are condemning each government as have been a government of, of people of low moral character, have done things which are un-Islamic, etc., and have, have uh, you know, denounced the previous governments to prove that these were not bodies of spiritual people mm -hmm. making judgments. And therefore, we turn our eyes away that this is just the politics in, in place as Jesus, as Prophet Muhammad, went through these things by the, the ruling people of the time. We as a Jamaat also have gone through these things, which is proving, as uh, Munir beautifully said, that we are those who are like the companions 
and the Prophet himself, we were denied basic rights to express who we are by people who had no, no right to judge us. And thus we are truly linked to them. Well, Jazakallah, thank you once again for your very comprehensive answers to that. And uh, Farzana Naim Saiba, I, I hope we've answered the uh, uh, question uh, quite comprehensively. But again, if there are questions you have arising from the very uh, eloquent answers which have been provided by the panel today, please do uh, email us in on Faith Matters, that's one word, at mta.tv. That's Faith Matters at mta.tv. And the fax number for those of you looking to use the fax, it's 44 for the UK, 208 687 8037.